In today's video, I want to go over a couple of PlayStation game updates. Zwan Wan Sword 7, I hope I pronounced that right. Boss battle gameplay has been posted, and this game looks pretty dope. It's a Chinese action RPG, and I want to see China come out with more games. Obviously, they've got a lot of games in the works with PlayStation's China Hero Project, and this is definitely a step in a right direction. Doom Eternal and Elder Scrolls Online are the latest games to receive next generation upgrades for free, and Gleam Light drops on August 20th. That game looks really good. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Alright, let's first talk about Soft Stars Entertainment. A five-minute boss battle gameplay for Zwan Wan Sword 7 has been released, and this game is looking pretty slick. Now, it's still probably pretty early on in development, but man, I am really liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking the visuals, I'm liking the aesthetic presentation of the game, and the gameplay looks quite good as well. The official page of the game on Steam does note Zwan Wan Sword 7 is an action RPG presented in the third-person perspective. The plot is rooted in Chinese history and mythology. Players take on the role of Taishi Zhao, a calm and reliable swordsman who is accidentally involved in a tragic fate. For protecting his beloved family, he starts a journey in this chaotic realm to uncover the truth. In the last of Western Han Dynasty, the powerful Prime Minister of China superseded his emperor and built a new dynasty called Xin. In this year, worlds appeared on the boulders, stone cattles appeared in the fields, and ancient tombs cracked. Tremendous signs appeared told the time of peace and prosperity will come. A peculiar bamboo slip in the crypt of Marcus of Lu was delivered to the court astrologer's hand. Unexpectedly, Taishi Mansion was badly damaged by a bizarre fire that night and all of his family was killed and the fire and the bamboo slip disappeared. The game now 10 years later, the prosperity mentioned in the prophecy has never come. A decade of war and famine, the people were miserable and the chaos had sprang among the country. At this time, the bamboo slip, which had disappeared for 10 years, emerged again. It caused an uproar. You've got combo-based combat, an Elysium scroll, Elysium rift. You've got the monsters and their mechanics. You've got a journey in the oriental realm and NVIDIA RTX support for PC. We'll see how that translates to consoles. We still don't have an official release date for this one, but it is coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam. Would be nice if it got a PlayStation 5 version as well, since I think that console could definitely accentuate some of the technical limitations of the game. I think it could look quite good. Alright, moving on from that, Doom Eternal and The Elder Scrolls Online are coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X free upgrades for PS4 and Xbox One owners. Bethesda Software will release PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X versions of Doom Eternal and The Elder Scrolls Online, the publisher has announced. Users who own the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One version of either game will be able to upgrade to the PlayStation 5 or Series X version for free of charge when those versions are available. Both titles will also support backwards compatibility when the new consoles launch, so from day one, the games will be backwards compatible, but then ultimately they will release an upgraded version for the respective consoles, so you'll get the best of both worlds on that. More information, including expected release windows and a list of enhancements, will be announced for both titles in the coming weeks. Additionally, Bethesda Software said that while it doesn't have any news to share just yet on the remaining catalog of titles, it is committed to offering free upgrades for current generation console owners of existing Bethesda Softworks titles brought to the next generation of consoles, so good to see that they're doing that wish we could see that similarity for like NBA 2K21, but literally, do we have to make another video where I go on a rant about NBA 2K21? No. Let's talk ESO and Doom Eternal, however. ESO, of course, going through a lot of upgrades and things of that nature. I believe the game is still on PlayStation now, uh, so you can play it that way. Might not be a bad idea. Doom Eternal, I think, is fantastic. It's on sale for 30 bucks right now. If you want to check it out, by all means, do so. Might not be a bad idea to just wait for the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 version to come out so you can enjoy the game for the first time with the upgraded specs and things like that. That might be a pretty good idea. Nevertheless, I'm hoping that the upgraded versions are due out by the end of the year, but at this point, we really have no clarity on that, but we'll see how things shake out as the year does roll on. Hopefully we get updates on Bethesda's catalog of titles because right now we really don't have an idea on a lot of the stuff they're working on. I think the only main game we know is that one game coming from Arcane Studios and right now it is escaping me. Alright, lastly I do want to give you guys a mention on Gleam Light. It launches August 20th. It's a side-scrolling action game and now it has a release date. It's got a great presentation style. The game will be on PS4, X1, Switch, and PC via Steam. And yeah, it's got a great art style that reminds me of a game that I literally can't think of right now. What is it? Hollow Knight! Hollow Knight is the game that I'm thinking about. It definitely reminds me of Hollow Knight from an aesthetic standpoint. And that's a great thing because Hollow Knight is a fantastic looking game. The game's page notes, Welcome to Gleamlight, a 2D action game that will take you through an adventure traversing a beautiful transient world. Immerse yourself in the beautiful stained glass artistry as you navigate without the reliance of any standard game UI while tracing the world's mysterious unspoken story. What will you as Gleam sense and feel through your travels across this beautiful yet fearsome world of glass? It's a world made of glass, the world beautifully unfurls before you with lush trees, boulders of all size, and various paraphernalia, all in the form and shape of glass. 
Prepare to explore this fantastical world where light warms and the gas and darkness stains it with bitter cold. A game without UI and an unspoken story rounds things out. So I imagine this is going to be a game that leaves a lot of it up to the player's interpretation. Definitely dig stuff like that. So that's going to conclude this video. Again, Zwan Wan Sword 7. Definitely check out gameplay of that game. One that's going heavily under the radar, but I do think it can end up surprising a lot of people. Doom Eternal and ESO coming to PS5 and Series X. That's pretty exciting. And Gleamlight will be dropping on August 20th. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.